right on the top of the usage tab, you'll see a button or switch, the data saving mode switch. You gotta make sure that that's on because what that does is it turns on the functionality of the app. It allows you to see the offers we want you guys to see and it gives you the functionality of controlling uh, the control tab as well. So before you start, just make sure that that switch is on, okay? Um, let's start here at the offers tab. The offers tab is, it's really the home base of this app. Um, it is the most active, it will be the most vibrant part of your entire experience with Globe Switch, okay? And quite simply what it does is it, it shows you the life cycle of all the offers that you're trying to avail. What do I mean by that? Well, what we'd encourage you to do is we'd encourage you to first look at the Hot Deals tab located right here. Perfect. The Hot Deal tab essentially lists all the offers that we have on a discounted basis. So if what you're looking for is a deal or a discount, this is really the place to start. This is where you want to be looking. And for those of you who recently downloaded Globe Switch, uh, what you'll find is you'll find that all the apps are listed under the Hot Deals tab. This is not a mistake, okay? We've put essentially all apps there because we've given three free trials for each individual app, okay? So if you actually aggregate that up, that's a total of three gig. Um, of free access to over 50 apps. Those of you in the press, write that down. That's big. Okay? <laughs> so if I were to avail of a particular app, let's say I want to do a free trial of uh, Clash Royale, which is available here. All I have to do is simply click the free button. What happens is it takes me to an office on the page. Okay? Stop scaring me, Ray. <laughs> and quite simply, it's, it, it's think of it almost like a checkout counter. It just summarizes the offer that you're trying to avail. In order to activate that offer, you just click the, bottom, the, the button at the bottom that says accept the free offer. And what will happen is Switch will begin processing that request. Okay, once it approves that request, okay, it should notify you that the free offer is activated. Okay? Once the offer becomes activated, it is listed under the activated tab here at the top. So you should find it there. That basically indicates that you can avail that particular offer that you've activated. Right here under the activated tab, we have Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, both with two different buttons. One has an install button, one has an open button. The main difference with that is Switch knows whether you've installed the application of the offer that you're trying to avail. So if you have not installed the application, um, right next to the app, you should see the install button. What that does is it takes you directly to the Google Play Store and allows you to install it directly from there. Fairly simple process. So let's say you have uh, available a series of free offers and you want to use a particular application on a more consistent basis. Where then you should go is the available tab. Okay. The available tab lists all the offers we have for each individual app. And what you'll find here is that we've provided three SKUs for each individual app. To view the SKUs, you just click the details button right next to the app itself. So let's say I wanted to see all the SKUs of Clash of Clans. I click details and it'll show me the prices of all the SKUs. So the one day, one week, uh, sorry, one hour, one day, and one week SKUs. So you can really kind of select the type of experience that you want with each individual app. You know, I, wanted, I kind of want to take a step back here and, and note something about this particular tab um, in Globe Switch. You know, traditionally for prepaid users, in order to avail certain promos, um, they've typically had to use SMS or USSD to access those promos. What Switch does, it really simplifies the process. You can get access to all this mobile data and all these apps really at the push of a button. Okay, we've, we've simplified it for everyone here. As soon as you um, exhaust a particular offer, let's say my free trial is expired, you can find, it'll be listed at the bottom tab known as the recently expired tab, which you see right here at the bottom. Okay. So that kind of gives you guys an indication of how you kind of track the life cycle of your offer. If you want to see a free trial, if you want to avail of a discount, you can find it in the Hot Deals tab. As soon as you activate it, it's, it notifies you that's in the activated tab. If you want to see the other SKUs available, you go to the Available tab. And if an offer is expired, it's under the Expired tab. 
fairly straightforward, right? Um, moving on. Under the usage tab, not only does it uh, have that data saving mode switch, which is vital for the functionality of the app, uh, what it also has is it gives you an analysis of your mobile data consumption and Wi-Fi consumption on a per app basis. And it gives you that kind of visibility and analysis on a one hour, one day, and 12 day basis. Right? So really the utility of this part of the application is, is quite interesting. If you were to select, for example, the data used button, which is located uh, right before the data uh, saving mode switch, switch gives you that analysis that I just mentioned. Okay? And if I wanted to see the analysis on a 12-day basis, I click the 12-day button, and below it shows all the top apps and how they're consuming data. So here we are, we're giving you visibility into the rate of consumption that each app is consuming. And um, what's actually interesting is that you start, when you start using this part of the app, you'll start noticing actually which apps are consuming unwanted data charges in the periphery. And that's actually where the next tab co kind of comes into play. So this is the control tab here. So the control tab, uh, quite simply, it, it puts you in the driver's seat of your mobile data control. And what it does is it allows you to open access or block access of each individual app from consuming mobile data. So if, for example, I see here under the open tab uh, that Clash Royale is open to accessing data. Let's say I'm on a bus on my way home and I'm concerned that this is uh, an app in the periphery that's, that's consuming unwanted data charges. Literally all I have to do is flick the switch here. Excuse me. And it's now this one with the block app. So fairly straightforward. I do want to mention actually that there's two additional features which we've recently inputted into the app. Um, the first is uh, we've provided a purchase history tab. So if I were to go to the offers page, and I click on the three buttons on the top right hand corner of the, of the app. What will happen is Switch will give me a purchase history button. Fairly straightforward, as soon as you click that you can see all the apps that you've available. Here you can kind of tell that I'm a gamer. I've got Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, and Alexa, and WeChat. Another feature that we've added to, to Switch is uh, the search bar. So if you see right next to the three dots on the top right hand corner, there's a little magnifying glass, kind of the universal signal of search, right? If you click that, you can search any of any SKU, any app. And so people are excited about this because actually as the app begins to grow, and as we add more content, and as we add more uh, apps for you guys to avail, um, this is really going to kind of come into play. You guys can really um, centralize and search the exact SKU that you want to look for. So. You know, the, the usage, it's an incredibly uh, user-friendly app. We've made it quite intuitive as you go around and explore uh, what it can do. Um, but something that I really kind of want to mention while we're here in this demo is actually something that I find quite impressive about this app is, is how dynamic it can be to adhering to individual customer needs. Now, I know everyone here is familiar with the new Pokemon Go app, right? It, it, I mean, personally for me, I'm, I'm quite nostalgic about this because I've always kind of dreamt about going out into the streets and catching Charizard. Um, but there's a concern with that, right? As soon as you uh, go out into the streets, you're most likely not going to be in a Wi-Fi zone. Your mobile phone will be consuming data to a certain extent. And, you know, I think we couldn't have timed the release of Globe Switch any more perfectly with what's happening with Pokemon Go. I mean, it, it's just such a relevant example to what the power of this app is. It gives you affordable access to the apps that you want. Okay? And as you know, we have all these kids kind of going out, we don't know when Pokemon Go will be available in the Philippines. No one has visibility into that. But Switch is already prepared for that. We already have access to the app uh, featured within the phone already. And you know, that's an example of how dynamic we can be. If we see that our customers or in high demand of a particular app, we'll put it in there. It's easy, we can do that with this app. And so, just kind of while we're on the topic of Pokemon Go, I know Raymond's gonna kill me here, but I do wanna make an announcement about that. We do not have visibility into when Pokemon Go will be released, okay? So, so everyone kind of relax. But I can tell you this, that as soon as it becomes available here in the Philippines, 
we will give all current globeswitch users seven days free access.